Hey everybody, it's Sherry Allen with Like a Realtors and we're here in Woodbridge, Virginia for our Think Local series where we try to encourage all of you to come out and support local businesses, um, hire local people, buy local goods. And uh, this is Tim at Campbell's Custard, such a cool little place. And um, the first thing I think we want to do is congratulate you because I heard that you won an award this year for yeah, best we, we restaurant. Had a, we had a good good year. We won a couple couple best of awards. We won the best of Prince William County from Inside Nova um, and best ice cream shop in Northern Virginia magazine. And also. friendliest. And friendliest. friendliest restaurant. And friendliest. Wow! Yay! <laughs> so anyway, we have some uh, questions for you. I want to have to use my cheat sheet, everybody. Um, First of all, I want to say that Leslie said to me you have an Eat Local or a local sign that we'd love. Yeah, um, we've got a little Eat Local uh, sign there. Bye, guys. Have right. a nice day. So that's perfect for what we're doing. Um, but we did have some questions about how did you get started? I know we talked a little bit inside. We've owned it for a little over four years now. This was already an established uh, business when we bought it. Um, it, was, it used to be called BR Frozen Custard. Oh, we don't know um, that. So they, they had been here for a while. So we're, we're local. We live um, off Springwood, so we're right down the street. Um, this used to be the place we used to come to to get to get a, a dessert. Um, and it just happened, I was in a transitional period with my job, um, and this opportunity popped up, and we decided to go for it. Um, and so we bought it, uh, and we've been going 100% ever since. We figured if we were going to do it, be all, you have yeah, to be all in. Be all in. So, um, and we've made it work. And so, four years later, we're still running, running strong, and having fun. So, no chance that you're going to go back to your old job. Not, not right now. No, no. This is. This <laughs> um, is tell me a little bit about the differences. I had to write this down so I'd remember. Uh, you do mostly custard. Yes, so we're frozen, frozen custard. So most people think, um, you know, ice cream in the summertime. You're doing custard. What's the difference between? Frozen custard. Uh, it's a uh, kind of the authentic, old-fashioned way. Um, frozen custard has uh, has to have at least 1.4 percent um, egg yolk added to the mix um, for it to be legally called custard, um, and it's has less air in it than than ice cream. Um, so uh, the combination of the machines we run it on, we run it fresh every day. Um, it's going to make gives it the creamier, um, denser consistency um, than than ice cream, uh, which is probably at least fifty percent air. Oh, um, wow! Whereas frozen custard, I think custard. it's going to be around twenty percent. Okay, I had no idea. But uh, our frozen custard, we're really proud of it. Um, it it's kind of a taste thing. You've got to you got to taste it. All I I say. It, if I can get you to taste it at least once, I, I, I get you. Back. So? Oh, well, we're sold. We haven't <laughs> had it yet today, but we're sold already. So you mentioned that you do it daily. That was one of the questions we had. Are you in here like at 3 a.m. making fresh product No, the, the machines I have, um, on, they, they can uh, produce the custard in probably 7 to 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Um, it's never... It's never frozen in the machine, so it's okay. it's it's frozen and pushed out um, when when we when we want it. Um, so in that in that regard, it's it's a lot more labor intensive than a, than your normal like a soft serve place would be, because right. um, everything's scooped um, and we have to run it um, you know daily. But uh, now it's 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 just a matter of, of you know doing it consistently throughout right. the day. So do you have, I would imagine, and I could be totally wrong, do you have base or stock flavors, things you carry all year and then certain times of the year, different flavors for different events or well, holidays? We, we do a, a flavor calendar and we'll probably put that out every month. It's on, the, it's on the door. We put it on our website. So we always have vanilla and chocolate every day. So that's, base. that's yes, standard. That's standard flavors. And then every other day we change the two special flavors. So we, we've got a constantly rotating uh, menu of different flavors that we put out throughout the year. And there's no, I make it every month, so depending on season or, or uh, it's a special holiday for, for flavor, um, we'll, we'll run those flavors. So my daughter Amy is going to ask, do you do any kind of peppermint stick? Yeah, we did oh. a peppermint stick. I think it was... <laughs> She'll just, be thrilled. Yeah, last month we did a, a Christmas, we did Christmas in June. It was June 25th, so we did halfway to Christmas, we ran a peppermint stick. Um, Christmas cookie flavor. 
Wow, so do you invent these, or is this like um, you go to your grandmother's cookbook and you find a recipe and you like jerry no, I mean, it? most of the flavors we've already done before, but we take suggestions from customers if they have ideas or some of the employees or come up with something. We usually have at least one one new flavor that we'll try with our own ideas. So is there any concocting going on at home, like here and there, stirring the pot as a family? No, it. no, it's not, not nothing that I would. I would I love, was would love that. to say it's that complicated, but a lot not of times it's just, uh, just you know, a spur of the moment ideas and like, hey, maybe we can try this. See if this works. Yeah. So, do you have a favorite flavor? Uh, like actually, like today we've got a Captain Crunch, which is just vanilla oh, custard yeah. with yeah. Captain Crunch cereal mixed in with it. That's one of my favorites. Uh, a lot of the cereal flavors are 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 my go tos really which yeah. is funny. Cakes, Sundays, cones. Cups here, depending on the season, we'll do uh, uh, custard pies uh, over Thanksgiving and also Christmas. Um, uh, Christmas time, we've done the past two years, we've done a gingerbread decorating event uh, where, where families can come in and decorate their houses, uh, nice. gingerbread that's houses. Good. So, we try, yeah, we try and think of a you know fun stuff to do that the family can do. Also, great for the community, right? To bring the community. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the other question we had was, do you do some kind of catering? We do, yeah, we do catering. We uh, sponsor uh, team, local swim teams. Um, we do have a scoop bus that we uh, we just kind of got going this this summer. Um, what uh, does that, that entail? Can you tell us a little? Well, it can it can be rented out for birthdays, uh, corporate events. Um, we also we've taken it to a bunch of like festivals. Yeah. Um, scoop out of the custard. The custard's made in the, in the store and then transferred onto the bus and then we scoop it off out of there. Festivals, that's a good idea. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, next next birthday party or, or wedding or, or corporate event, uh, give us a call and see if we can work something out. And um, I guess another question we had is just in terms of the hours. Most of, So I grew up in Maine where it's cold most of the time. But the ice cream shops open in June and then they close like October. That's it. But you're open year round. Right. And and you get a lot of people still coming, even in the winter months. Yeah, I mean. Uh, That's amazing. I think. Yeah, the first the first winter is a little. We were a little nervous yeah, because yeah, yeah. we didn't know what to expect. Um, but yeah, we've got a really local. I um, mean, you know, a loyal uh, following. Base, yeah. um, and then we try and do do stuff throughout the winter to kind of keep it keep it fresh. Um, you know, promotions and flavors like that um, so and obviously it, it slows down a lot but uh, it's not terrible so that's actually it's actually gotten better each winter so that's, everyone that's make sure you come in the fall yeah. and winter and on, so we, people can find you on your website mm -hmm. which because, is uh, it's like you can find us on campuscustard.com we're also on Facebook and Instagram where we do most of our announcements and posts so if you're looking for a special event please take a look check it out and um, come out and support local business here in Woodbridge. Thank you so, so much, Tim. This is truly enlightening. And I think we're going to have to try something today. Awesome. Um, but everybody, thanks so much. We'll see you next time.